Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a curved bridge in Blender. And this is beginner tutorial, so let's get started. Now, you want to start off by switching to cycles, which is a lot more realistic and makes the shading a lot better. Then you want to click numpad 1 to go to front view. Then you want to scale it on the set axis, so S set to scale it on the set axis. And left click to confirm. Now click 3 to go to the side view. And now we're going to scale it on the y axis, so S, Y, 14. To scale it 14 times on the y axis. Now left click again to confirm. And we can scale a little bit more on the set axis if you want to, if you want to make it thinner. Now click Shift D to duplicate. And click G set to grab it on the set axis. And like this, and left click to confirm. Let's get it on the y axis with S, Y to make it longer. This one is going to be a little bit longer than the first one. And we're going to go to edit mode. And we're going to add loop cuts. And you click Ctrl R to add loop cuts. And you can use the mouse wheel to add more loop cuts. Or you can just write Ctrl R 50. To add 50 loop cuts because we're going to have 50 loop cuts in this tutorial and i'll left click to confirm and go back to object mode and grab it a little bit more on the set axis downwards and go back to edit mode Now select the endings of uh, both sides and you click set to go into wireframe mode and B to select many at the same time. Just select the uh, four ending edges or four ending verticals. And they're the same here, B. And now we're going to go into proportional editing, enable, and click G set to grab it on the set axis and use the mouse wheel to edit more vertic verses at the same time like this left click to confirm and now click S G Y to um, make them come closer to each other and again use the mouse wheel to edit how much you want to drag now we're going to add the um, cylinders that connected to. So maybe we should make them closer again. And the way to add new objects is to add a 3D cursor somewhere so that you can add the object where you want it to be. So I'm going to add a 3D cursor under here. But now it's wireframe mode, so we'll have to go back to solid mode and left click to add a 3D cursor. Now we're going to add a cylinder and scale it down with S and click GX to grab it on the x-axis Now click S set to scale it on the set axis to make it taller Now click G set to grab it downwards and scale it on the set axis again a little bit more. And now we're now we're going to use something that's called an array modifier. An array modifier lines up the same object many times. So if we go into the settings, modifiers, add modifier, you're gonna add an array modifier. And right now it's on the x-axis, but we're going to change it to the y-axis. And we're going to test that some different values first. Okay, so let's try 4. And make the count up to go to the other side of the bridge. And 
Now we can change the value on the y, y axis to make it fit. And maybe grab it a little bit. G Y. To make it look better. To make it look balanced. And the next thing I'm going to do is to make these into separate like separate um, objects or separate vertices because now it's just a copy so if we go back to object mode and click apply and we go back to object mode we can press tab you'll see now that we have separate vertices for all of the different objects so if we click the lower face of each of these cylinders we can grab them upwards to fit into the bridge so click G set to grab it upwards now repeat this process just grab the lower ones and the equivalent on the other side click G set oops G set and you can also rotate by clicking R X so that they don't stick out if you want to be extra um, into the details G set again just copy the process okay so now I'm going to speed up a little bit to make it go faster and you do the same stuff you just add um, select the lower faces and just grab it upwards to fit into the bridge design okay G set this is the last one and as you can see, now we have the cylinders to connect the two shapes. And what we're going to do now is to copy this one and make it look the same on the other side. We're going to use a mirror, mirror modifier. Let's just change the name of this one because we're going to mirror towards this object. And we're going to name it top. And go into the mirror modifier. mirror objects and as you see now it mirrors on the x-axis so that you have the same design on the both of the sides okay so now i'm going to add a fence on the top of the bridge kind of like a safety fence and left click to add a 3d cursor and what we're going to do now is to add a new cylinder and you can go into shift set to see how it looks in the rendered mode when it's finished but we haven't added the lighting yet so it's really look that good so add a cylinder r x 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the x-axis scale it down click g set and grab it upwards make it smaller just find the size you want to have and Click G, grab it to about the middle of the bridge. Numpad 3 to go to the side view. And click S, Y to scale it on the Y axis. And try to make it equally long on both sides. So you just have to grab it and scale it on the Y axis a few times. And now we're going to go to the end of it and add a 3D cursor to add a new cylinder. And let's add a new cylinder, scale it down, and make it thin and tall. If you want to go to the top view, just click numpad 7. Okay, click G to grab. And now it should be under the actual fence. I'm just going to scale it down. And scale it up on the set axis again to make it taller. Just try to figure it out yourself. You just have to scale it and scale it upwards. Now we're going to add a new array modifier. We're going to go to add modifier. So going to add modifier, array. And change it to the y axis and find the value you want. Oops. 
yeah like this okay so now we're gonna bump up the count to fitting the whole bridge let's see I needed 140 about 144 I'm gonna select the upper cylinder go into edit mode G to grab on a face and this should work I'm gonna go back to object mode and we're gonna mirror the whole fence to the other side on the x-axis so click add modifier mirror and use the top and as you can see it turns up on the other side I'm gonna do the same with this one mirror modifier mirror object top and as you can see it now it's the same on both sides so now I'm ju just gonna add some very basic lighting just gonna add a sun lighting and a plane kind of like the ground so this is not very advanced just to make it work okay go to the sun and change it to three and click sun and use nodes and let's see how it looks if we go back to rendered mode Okay, it's too weak, so I'm going to bump up the value to 3.8. And now go to numpad 0 to go into the camera. Select the camera and G to grab. You can make the camera into a fly cam by clicking Shift F. So that you can move around the scene very easily. Now we're going to add material to the actual bridge, so right click to select, use notes, and we're going to make it dark. Now select the other parts and just use the same material. Dark material. And I'm just going to try to select the fence itself and black again. Okay, so now go into world settings, use notes, and make it lighter just to light up the scene a little bit more and select the camera right click and click shift F and uh, tab if you want to have gravity and now we can use W A S and D to move around the scene and find a good spot to make the render I'm gonna render I'm gonna bump up the quality to 100% and click render and I'm gonna speed up this because it takes a lot of time on my laptop and i think it looks pretty great so i'm gonna save the image go to image oops save as image and find a name for it you can actually save it wherever you want it doesn't really matter and if you want to download my finished file you can just go to the link in the description to my website and that's it for this tutorial if you want to see more videos in this format just subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching